June 5, 2012, I was able to photograph an amazing event that will not happen again in our lifetime. The planet Venus moved directly in between the Earth and Sun and was seen as a black spot moving across the face of the Sun. Using our mobile observatory telescopes and imaging equipment, I captured the transit of Venus from beginning till the time the Sun disappeared below the horizon. To do that, we have to have a special solar filter. And you can see the filter on the very uh, uh, leading edge of the telescope here. This blocks off almost all of the light that's able to come into the telescopic tube and reach the mirror. If you didn't have this special filter, then uh, the optics of the telescope would be completely destroyed. And uh, on top of that, uh, just a, an instant of looking through the eyepiece on the telescope would, uh, would cause permanent eye damage or blindness. With the scope's camera and equipment set up, solar filters were used on the primary scope, and all others were capped off to prevent accidental optics damage or permanent eye damage. With the cameras secure, a few test shots of the sun showed that everything was working smoothly. Notice several visible sunspots on the surface. Precisely at the designated time, a quick photo from the camera revealed the shape of the planet Venus, barely breaking the blinding light of the sun. Here in central Tennessee, where our observatory is based, light cloud cover formed wisps of darkness against the bright yellow background. A few moments later, Venus was outlined completely against the circle of the sun, and its tiny apparent size could be seen. This is incredible. This is the transit of Venus across the face of the sun. It's actually the planet Venus moving across the face of the sun. And you can see a black spot, which is the planet. And uh, this only happens about twice in a lifetime. It won't happen again in our lifetime. As the sun approached the horizon, Venus was still well less than halfway through its transit. And as the sun disappeared behind the tree line at sunset, the incredible transit was hidden from our view. Not to cross paths again in the next 105 years. Sir Isaac Newton said that gravity cannot explain who set the planets in motion. God governs all things. We don't have control over the heavens, but we have the ability to observe God's universe at work. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. David Reeves Ministries, The Heavens Declare the Glory of God, an exciting one-hour DVD on creation and biblical astronomy. Sign up for our email updates at davidreeves.com to receive free content and videos. That's David R I V E S dot com. The mysteries of the universe unfold in a manner that is easily understood. Great things past finding out, yea, and wonders without number.